that. Just one second, please. Ah, sorry about the wait. Oh, hey, it's you. Feels like forever since I've seen you. When was the last time you came round, huh? Last year, right? Jeez, it really has been a while. I guess that's how time flies. How you been doing, huh? You been holding up good? Uh, that's a relief to hear. Still, I'm surprised it took you so long to come back round here. You two were glued to the hip back then. Well, judging from how much you text each other, you still are just glued to the hip electronically. So, what you here for? Did you leave something behind? Oh, you are here to see my sister. Well, uh, sorry to break the news to you, but she ain't home. Yeah, she stepped out just a moment ago, actually. You literally missed her by a minute. I'm surprised you didn't pass her on her way here. Oh, you went the long route. Yeah, that makes sense. I think she just dashed to the store. She should be back soon, actually. Do you want to just come inside and wait? Yeah, it's no problem. My parents are out, so it's not like they can say anything. As the eldest one here, I have complete jurisdiction of what happens under this roof. And by my decree, you may enter. <laughs> yeah, come on, come inside already. No need to act all shy, we're all friends here. You may be my sister's friend, but we're only a year apart in age. Which means we're childhood friends as well. Mm-hmm. So come one, come all, and come inside. Seriously, it's like really hot out today. You really need some shade. I've even got some lemonade. <laughs> now you're starting to see things my way. Come on. Welcome back to this humble abode. It's not really changed much than the last year. I think we've got like one new photo hanging on the wall here. Yeah, mum likes to keep it simple. Nothing much, but nothing too bad either. Though actually, since we weren't expecting guests, it is a little messy in here. Sorry, uh, ignore that. And don't tell my mum. She, uh, she might be a bit upset to see that. <laughs> but anyway, as I promised, here is your lemonade. Well, it's in the bottle right now, but I'll just get in some cups. You cool glasses, right? Or are you still in that mug phase? <laughs> yes, I remember that. It was so cute how you were always insisting, no, no, it has to be in a mug. It has to be in a mug. It doesn't matter if it was six years ago. People hang on to things. Like I said, it was cute. I wouldn't judge you. You're fine with a glass? Eh, I'm still gonna put it in a mug for old time's sake. <laughs> ah, there's the pout. I was starting to think you'd lost it. Yeah, my sister's always going on about how you're all mature these days. A real leader type, huh? You guys are working on a project together, right? Is that why you came around today? Hey, I hit the nail on the head, because of course I did. <laughs> One sec. Your lemonade, my esteemed guest. So what's this project on, huh? Anything interesting? Ooh, a science project? Biology, huh? Damn, that might be a hard one. Yeah, biology wasn't my best subject. But hey, I got through it, so so can you. I bet you're a way better wizard at it than I am. Still, if you do ever need any help with it, don't be afraid to come knocking at my door. And I don't mean my house door. I mean my actual room door, because, you know, I'm assuming since you've come over here, you're going to be doing the project in my sister's room. Am I right on the money, or am I right, right, right on the money? 
<laughs> cool as I am. What have you guys got so far, actually? Maybe I can already give you some pointers. You're up to mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Well, I guess that is the most interesting bit, so I can't fault you, but you might want to expand your scope just a tiny bit more. <laughs> I know you just got the project, but I'm just giving advice. What, do you not want my advice? Oh, do you think it's a worthless waste of time talking to me? Ah, how much you break my heart. I come to you in your hour of need and you push me away. And here I thought our bond was stronger than that. Clearly I'm the only one caring in this relationship. Huh? It sounds like I'm putting it in a romantic context. Well, I wouldn't be opposed to that. <laughs> I mean exactly what I say. You know I've never been one to sugarcoat my words. Ah, your face is turning all red. Aw, oh, you really are adorable, aren't you? Hmm? Teasing you? <laughs> I might be teasing you a little bit, but... Well, can you blame me? With a face like yours and the reactions you give, anybody would want to tease you. I'm not an exception to a rule or anything. Oh, I am? Ah, uh, everyone at school treats you like a big shot, huh? I bet everybody in your class loves you, huh? How many ladies do you get, huh? Or how many guys do you get? Or how many suitors in general do you get? <laughs> Come on, you can share. Come on, tell Big Sis, won't you? <laughs> Don't give me that look now. You can't blame me for being curious. I need to know who my competition is, after all. <laughs> Do I need to repeat myself? I need to know who my competition is, after all. Did I not see it that better? Oh, you still look a little confused. I just said, didn't I? I don't sugarcoat my words. A fact you should be very aware of. If not, then that means you haven't been paying attention to me. Ah, oh, you break my heart. I already said it, didn't I? Well, I hinted at it anyway. I put our relationship into a more romantic context. Oh, you poor confused little thing. I wasn't teasing you about the fact that I have romantic interest in you. I was just playing it up a tiny little bit just so I could see your adorable blushing face. Are we clear on that now? I don't want any more confusion going forward. I have this rare opportunity to talk to you by myself after all, about my sister coming in and ruining the conversation. Oh, actually... You're not just playing dumb because you actually have feelings for my sister, are you? Because if that is the case, we can just, uh, pretend this conversation never happened. I don't want to get in the way of her happiness. And you two do look pretty happy together, so... I probably should have led with that, huh? Oh, you don't? Ah, well, that's a relief. Anyway, back to it. You're oblivious, this is so cute then. Ah, I'm so lucky to have you in my life. Dear. <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying stuff like we're a romantic couple until you tell me what you think about it. I mean, what you think about us as a couple. Of course. I basically just confessed, you know. I just need to wait for your answer now. So, not to be, like, pushy or anything, but can you think about it? About us two, in a more romantic context. I know you've probably only seen me as your best friend's big sister up until this point, but I would appreciate it if you... 
Oh, you do have a crush on me? Is it right for me to assume that you've already thought of us in a romantic context then? You'd have to if you like someone. Right? <laughs> so, what have you imagined us doing? Well, you can't blame me for being curious, can you? And plus it is about me. So come on. Why don't you spill all those details about what fantasy me and you have been doing? <laughs> you're red again. Oh, you look so sweet when you're all flustered like that. You must have been thinking about it a lot, huh? Are there any particular thoughts you have a love for? Other than me. Well, if you're too shy to tell me right away, I don't mind. I'll coax it out of you eventually. Well, of course. I want to make sure you have fun on our dates, too. What do you mean, what do I mean? I just confessed. You then confessed you also have a crush on me. So, isn't the next natural step to declare ourselves a couple? Or is that too soon for you? I don't mind waiting about a week or so to make it official. But past that, I might become a bit too pushy, if you get my drift. I totally wouldn't announce it on Facebook or anything. <laughs> yes, on Facebook. After all, my two whole followers on there must be dying to know. <laughs> I'm pulling your leg. I'd announce it on Twitter where I have thousands of followers. <laughs> I'm pulling your leg again. I'm not that popular, you know. I've just got all classmates and current friends following me on there. But still, people would know. But I'm not going to put you through that. Whenever you're comfortable to say we're official, if you want us to be official at all, would be the point when I would announce it. Okay? Oh, I think I see my sister's car coming up in the driveway. Looks like a little conversation will have to be cut short for now. Uh, but before she comes in... Consider that a little taster. Or even a bribe to help you make up your mind. I'll be in my room if you guys need me. Okay? Bye, dear.